Thing. It grips the road like no tomorrow, and it moves. Ooh, that definitely moves. Holy cow, that moves. Wow. Damn, that thing moves. Let's see if I can, can I pass him around the tour corner? Yeah, look at this, wow. Holy cow. Oh, now I hear the tires. Whoa, this thing moves. Yeah, this is a no joke car, man. The handling on this, 10 out of 10. Woo! All right, I just figured out how to shut off all that driver assist nonsense in this gorgeous BMW M440i. This is quite the car. I got to say, it's impressive. It's a beautiful car. Uh, I, first, first thing I notice, you hear that hum? I'm only humming around at 35 miles an hour, but you could hear the exhaust note. Brrr, rumbling away. Rumble, rumble. If you, ooh, and it's popping as I slow down, as I lift off the throttle. So if you are the kind of person who likes a loud car, this might be the car for you. Me personally, I like it only loud when I throw, when I floor it. Otherwise, I don't want to hear the motor. This is not that car. I'm doing 20 right now. <laughs> and it's loud already. Oh my God, it sent me the wrong direction. No, 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 I got a poppy Yuli. All right. I literally just got in this car. I'm now doing 30 and it literally, it feels like you're on a racetrack with this thing. It's the craziest exhaust note. It's super, super loud. You gotta like a loud car for this one. I gotta say, it's very noticeable. It feels good to drive. It's very grabby, the brakes, and it's also downshifting aggressively. Now, mind you, I do have it in maximum sport mode. So that's part of why it's grabby. Just part of why it's grabby. Um, like it's expect you, you kind of want a uh, grabby brakes and grabby everything when you're in like super sport mode. It's just that it's really grabby. You'll, you'll drive a car one day and you'll see it. You'll see I'm not making it up. How do I get on the highway from here? Holy cow. I don't know where I am. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Okay. So first thing I noticed sitting position is quite good. I'm tall. I'm 183 centimeters, six feet tall. This is, I'm above the height of the convertible top in my comfortable sitting position, which means with the top up, my head would be touching the ceiling and I wouldn't be comfortable. Uh, that's, that's really it. All right, let's get on the highway and see what this can do. And it moves. Ooh, that definitely moves. Holy cow, that moves. Wow. Damn, that thing moves. That really can move. That is not a joke, this car. There is no question about it. This is a very quick car. Now, is it as quick as like an 850? Absolutely not. Um, I don't honestly think that in the top end, the highway speeds, this is quicker than my old 760 V12, which is 15 years old now. But this is really fast and off the line is really where you feel it. Makes a nice noise. It's not super, super fast. I've driven quicker cars, but it's definitely got a great feel to it um, it's telling oh the GPS is telling me to turn around GPS is telling me I went the wrong way but I was having so much fun with this car <laughs> now you know what it is is that engine note makes it feel like you're going really fast even like now I'm doing 18 miles an hour it sounds like brrr. it really does sound quick now if I own the car I personally don't like this noise this is gonna would make me crazy but Borrowing this car? Phenomenal. It sounds like I'm doing a zero to 60 run. I'm going 30. <laughs> it really sounds so fast. It's awesome. All right. So the first impression of the car, I love the way it sounds as a borrowed car. I don't love the way it sounds if I were owning it, but who cares? Cause I'm borrowing it. It ain't my car. So this is really, really sweet. The interior is absolutely beautiful. It has a little contrast stitching on the doors. I think they could have done more contrast stitching because that really is nice, but there's nowhere else in the car that I see it. I mean, this is fake. Is this real stitching? Yeah, maybe this is real. It's either real stitching or it's a texture in the rubber that looks like stitching. I can't tell. This doesn't feel like real leather at all. Like some cars, it's, it's fake leather, but it feels real. This feels like rubber. This totally feels like rubber. I, maybe, you know, maybe it's some, some uh, leatherette kind of thing. I don't know, but uh, I'll tell you what I do notice. This car has been disinfected before me and it ruined the finish on this plastic here. 
the di whatever they're using as a disinfectant. Now, I've been in another BMW that happened to it as well. So apparently the, the silver colored finish in the car, um, it doesn't tolerate whatever alcohol that they're using to disinfect the cars. You know, who the hell knew that we'd be living in an era where that's, a, where that's an ordeal, you know? Where if you disinfect your car, you're gonna ruin the interior. But that's the way this world is now. You know, we're living in a crazy time. Wow, this does move. But I'm not really going that fast. It just feels fast. That's the funny thing. I'm not even driving illegally. That's crazy. It feels so fast, this car, but it's not, it's not. <laughs> but you know what? That makes it fun to drive. That makes it super fun to drive. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. So let's see how the handling is. Oh, excellent. Wow. That is excellent. Whoa, it really grips the road, this car. That's a phenomenal handling, beautiful. All right, I gotta mellow out because I just pulled straight in front of a cop car. All right, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> so I'm not staying on this highway. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. See, the problem is with this popping, popping of the exhausts is that you draw too much attention. I don't really want the whole world looking at me when I drive is popping. When you pull into like a gas station, I'm doing 11 miles an hour and it's popping. You know, if I pull into a gas station, it's going to be attention getting. I don't need that attention, frankly. Uh, I can do without it. But, you know, so be it. It comes with the car. If you want attention and you want a really, really well handling car, this M440i is absolutely superb. I got to say, I'm quite impressed. I'm going to make a hard left turn once the light kicks in. I wonder how the car will do. There's a garbage truck straight in front of me. He wants to go straight. If I screw up, this will be my last will and testament because this convertible ain't going to survive hitting the garbage truck. So uh, <laughs> hopefully this will work out. But either way, um, I really like this car. I got to say it's very, very impressive. I've turned off all the driver's aid. I learned my lesson because I don't like the driver's aid. Again, teenage drivers who may hit things, they need that crap. Experienced drivers, old school drivers like me, I don't want anything making the steering do this or braking what for me. I don't need any of that. I want to be in full control of the car. I know what I'm doing behind the wheel. At least I hope so because otherwise this garbage truck is going to be my end. Let's see how this does. Wow. Real good. Wow. Although it's not really moving fast. It just feels fast. The funny thing is it felt much quicker than it actually was. I thought I was doing like some crazy fast and I looked down, it's not really going that quick, but it feels so fast, which is makes it fun. You know, that's like the problem with electric cars. They feel slower than they really are. This feels faster than it is. Wow, it does move. There is no question about it. stupid cabbie just got in front of me this guy that stupid taxi just pulled in front of me at full speed there but all right it's okay because we're in a m440i and the handling is superb absolutely superb this car, this car is phenomenal wow I gotta say I'm very 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 impressed with the handling okay Performance zero to 60, I would say is very good, but not excellent, but absolutely very good. But it feels so much faster than it is that it's such a thrill to drive it. Oh my God, it's like, whoa. And the handling is, is 10 out of 10, man. This car, I feel like I could get on the track with it and I've only been driving it, what does it say? Not even 10 minutes, barely. I feel like I could get on the track with this car and just like race this thing right now. I don't need any more road experience to be able to race this thing. It's that easy to drive. Anyone's grandma or could just get in this thing and track the car. It's really that good. All right, let's take a hard right turn right now. Let's see how it does. So far, wow, it makes me feel like I can hit it harder. Let's hit it harder. Holy cow, it don't want to lose the ground. Wow, this is one of the best handling cars I think I've ever driven. I'm serious. The handling is amazing. It grips the road like no tomorrow. It's one of the few cars I've driven that make me feel like I am more afraid of sliding it than the car is of sliding. Meaning like 
the car will outperform me. I'm a pretty aggressive driver, as you can plainly see. It's pretty rare that I don't feel like pushing a car harder. This thing makes me a little uneasy because it's so good. I feel like when it, when it finally will break loose of the ground, it's gonna really slide because it's really grippy. It's wonderful. It, it's a spectacular, spectacular car. I, I'm not blown away by the handling on this thing, honestly. All right, let's see what else I can put this car through. What other paces? In terms of the wind, it's actually fairly good for a convertible. Uh, emergency lane closure. It's telling me the lane is closed up front. I don't know why. I guess that's some kind of... Uh, it's getting that off of like some internet feed or something, telling me the lane's closed up front. I don't know. That's pretty neat that it tells you that. <clears throat> I don't know what it means because uh, no lanes are closed up here, but so far, so good. And uh, really, really quite impressed with this car. Blown away, to be honest with you. I didn't expect to take a turn like that. I'm going to do another one as soon as it's safe to do so. And uh, let's see how much I can push this car, man, without hitting nothing, of course. Uh, wow, really wow. All right, here we go. I'm going to make a hard right turn. I'm going highway to highway, so I can actually get a little bit of speed here. Oh, no, the road's bumpy, so I'm not going to push it here. I really don't want to slide it and really, you know, do anything bad, so... Hang, t hang on tight. <laughs> no, there's too many bumps here. I can't, I can't push it here. That's how, see, that's how people get into accidents. They do stupid stuff. All bumpy, and then they hit the gas. That's dumb. I don't do, I don't do games like that, man. Where's this thing telling me? It says I should make a left. Left exit. Oh, I see. Let's see where that goes. All right, let's see how this car does around this uh, U-turn style highway speed exit. Oh, hole in the road. Hang on. Hang tight, hang tight. Let's see if I can, can I pass him around the corner? Yeah, look at this, wow, holy cow. Oh, now I hear the tires. Whoa, this thing moves. Yeah, this is a no joke car, man. The handling on this, 10 out of 10. Woo, I am thrilled with the handling on this car. I don't think I've driven anything I can push that hard without feeling like it's about to lose traction. This thing is Wow, the, the, the handling is unmatched. I've driven plenty of cars faster than this, although this feels faster psychologically, but performance, wow, I'm just breathless, blown away. It's one of the most fun cars I've ever driven. This truck just swerved into me. No sweat at all. Handle this hard U-turn, no problem at highway speeds. Oh, there goes the wheels. I finally got the wheels to break free a little bit. But it's not that fast in a straight line, but it isn't slow. It's definitely not slow, but it's not... If you were racing the car on a straight like, like zero to 60, you're not gonna win. Ooh, the tunnel noise, you heard that? That's a great noise. Man, this thing drives unbelievable. Holy smokes. Effortless driving around the turns. Ah! I am blown away by this M440i. Honestly, one of the best cars I've ever driven. I have driven nearly every high-end BMW that's modern and in existence. I own a 12-cylinder BMW 7 Series. Honestly, this car is phenomenal. Ah, oh, one of the best cars I've ever driven, really. Really, really best cars. Now, Jersey drivers, this is a whole other ideal. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Anyway, that's all I got for you today for this beautiful BMW M440i. Thank you all for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in, your, in the next video. Thank you for watching. Woohoo!